Remember, we are here to serve you. But let's get now to the teaching and find out how you can be blessed by listening to the Word of God. Stay tuned and let us join the teaching in progress. We're in this area and also to be with the most excited people in the world. The best people in the world are single people. And that is why I am still single. Standing next to me is the most single woman I have ever met. And that's why I married her. <laughs> Let's hold hands together, please. Tell your neighbor it's good to touch an original. Tell your neighbor if you knew who I really was, you would take me for lunch today. Absolutely true. The Word of God says, Wherever any two shall touch and agree concerning anything on the earth, it shall be done for them of our Father who is in heaven. Let's touch and agree right now. Father, thank you for filling this place with revelation knowledge. Thank you for wisdom from above to guide us and to apply to our daily living. Thank you for your promise that when we come together in your name, you are already in the midst of us to bless us. So I ask you now, Lord, to invade our ignorance with your revelation, destroy our ignorance with your truth, and reveal to us the clarity of your principles, that we may live not only effectively, but we may live with a destiny. We thank you now for bringing us together to change us permanently. Speak to our hearts, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We expect it, we receive it, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Tell your neighbor, watch me change right before your eyes. You may be seated. God bless you. I'd like for you to give a warm welcome to the woman who I've been married to for the past 25 years. It's been wonderful. This is my lovely, darling, wonderful, fantastic, beautiful, awesome wife, Ruth the mother of the only two children I have on the planet, uh, the woman that took my virginity away. And this year we are celebrating our Silver Jubilee year of marriage. It's a joy to marry the right person. It's a misery to marry the wrong person. She has been an asset, a blessing. Every day of my life with her has been a positive influence in my life. It's been a joy and a pleasure being married to her. I couldn't think of anyone better to live with than this woman. I tell you, I love you with all my heart, baby. My liver, my lungs, my pancreas, and everything within me, baby. Please welcome Ruth Monroe. Thank you very much. Good morning. It's really a joy to be here with you. How many of you are whole today? How many of you are enjoying the state you are in now? Amen? Because you know the same misery that you are feeling now in this state, you are going to take over in the state that you So let's enjoy the state that we are in now. It's a process. It's a preparation for where we want to go. So if you are a whole person now, you're going to be a whole person for where you want to go. Amen? And for you singles, I want you to know that God is preparing you for whom He has prepared for you. So if you are looking for a mate, you want to be an asset because God will not bring a deficit to you. He's going to bring someone to add to your life to take you higher, not lower. So we are not going to settle for anything less. We are always going to settle for the best. Amen? So I encourage you to be strong. You are not alone. God says He will never leave you nor forsake you, no matter what state you are in. And He is preparing you. He is taking you through the process. And you are going to come out better, stronger. 
and even more mature for where he is taking you. Amen. And be encouraged. God only bring assets into our life. I can, I know. I am an asset to him. He is better for marrying me. That's the way you have to feel. Anybody comes into your life, it's good for them. Amen? Amen. Oh boy, now you see why I married her, huh? It's a joy to be here this morning. I know you had a great breakout sessions today. And uh, my job is to take you through to lunch. In other words, from here until lunch. So I hope you get yourself ready to go into some revelation. Uh, you can't hear me. Don't blame me. <laughs> Only my wife turns me on. So they better turn me on. Amen. Is that better now? Just a little bit more? All right, get your Bibles, please, and a clean sheet of paper. I want to do two things today, and we're going to take a break to come up for air. I want to speak on this subject, single but not alone. My subtitle today is The Advantage of Being Single. The Advantage of Being Single. And I believe that it's important to begin today with the worst scenario. And the worst scenario is a broken relationship. I don't think there's anything worse than a divorce. Some of you are here today because you are divorced. You become what you call single again. I don't call it that. I call it unmarried. Those of you who are here today who have never been married, maybe you came from a family that has been divorced. Your mother and father got a divorce and you know how tragic and traumatizing that is. It's very difficult to survive a, a divorce. There's nothing worse than going through a relationship that falls apart that we call a broken heart. Some of you have never been married, but you've gone through the experience of a divorce. And what that means is you had given yourself to someone at a certain level of emotional attachment. And then something went wrong in that relationship. Maybe you were engaged to be married or maybe you went with a man or a woman for a few years and then it didn't work and you went through a very difficult tearing of that relationship and so you did have some kind of experience of what a divorce feels like 